last year, the Cherokee Chamber Singers formed a committee that came up with a questionnaire. What do we want people to know about the Cherokee? What is it you're most proud of? And what are the stereotypes that you've had to come across? All those kinds of questions. Their passions, their fears, their hopes, their regrets. Ultimately, we have decided to use their words as the source material for the whole composition. What it's turned into is so remarkable. The kids have had an opportunity to really explore their heritage and their history and to speak about it, to make statements about it that are um, thought-provoking, interesting, and enlightening. We've been particularly fortunate in attracting the talents of the composer William Patel. His ability and enthusiasm and willingness to work very, very closely with the entire Eastern Band of the Cherokee Indians has been critical to the whole project. These are remarkable young adults uh, with 10,000 years of history behind them and an incredibly resilient, beautiful culture. And they're also children of the modern age. They have a very, very unique and valuable perspective that I think it's important for us to listen to. Bill Grittell has provided a musical context over which the words of the Cherokee youth have been given center stage. It's just such a unique composition infused with the spirit of these kids and the language they've brought to it. The words are going to be heard narrated by individual members of the choir at the outset and then they're going to be sung and every single word is theirs. Wow, it's just powerful, powerful stuff. So now when the kids are rehearsing it, it's just like, oof, it's hard to keep a dry eye. Working on the music that Bill wrote for us has given me a sense of pride that I've never had before for my culture. I was afraid to go out in the world and tell people I'm Native. Every day, Native Americans around the world are facing discrimination because people don't know our stories. Most people don't really know about us. We never really had a voice, and I feel like right now we do with the music and in, in incorporating our language into it. One thing that I really want to come from this is maybe we might be able to teach people around the state a couple of Cherokee words from this. For all of that presence and power and passion and history to be spread around North Carolina, it's just mind-blowing. What makes me emotional? is is the idea that those kids are going to bring that here and that our people here are going to hear those kids up there singing their history i mean oof it's such a statement of power and of the power of this generation of cherokee people and where this community is headed to see the boldness and the courage and the vision that they've displayed every step of the way it's been truly inspirational. I feel as if myself and everyone else in the Chamber Singers is really going to start a change in the world. We're finally getting to tell our story. To tell the story of this community through these pieces and to really spread awareness. Awareness for the things that our people have gone through and for the things that our people are still going through. And educate other people on the truth. The Cherokee people, we're not weak. Even though we've had terrible tragedies throughout the past, our future is still shining bright. I hope people will kind of see us more as people rather than an exhibit. I want people to walk away with tears in their eyes. I want them to not have sympathy, but have empathy. The one thing that I was left with after each of my visits with the choir and the young people was the passion that these young folk have. Passion for the Cherokee people, um, but also their hopes and passions for the future. So I hope that we will have facilitated a platform, a vehicle through which these young 
Cherokee can get their music across and their message across. We're still here and we've always been.